guys, it's Janelle Stalia. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to react to Game of Thrones, last episode of season one. I'm excited, very excited. I wanted to know what happens next because it cannot finish like this, right? Okay. Anyway, guys, if I move my hands like this, it's because I just put my nail polish on. So it's like, I cannot really move them like in a way that it's gonna mess up my nail polish so just so you know if you guys see that i move my hands weird is because of that let's get into it someone in the comments by the way did say that's partially our fault for capturing you know that lannister yeah. but you know it's just a series of events you just don't know We have to get the girls back. Oh yeah, I forgot. And well, well we one is leaving. He's not! <gasps> this one's your father. This one here. Oh. Look at it and see what happens to traitors. He promised to be merciful. I was. I gave him a clean death. Look at him. Let me go home. I won't do any treason. I swear I'll Mother says I'm still to marry you, so you'll stay here and obey. Look at him! Well? How long do I have to look? As long as it pleases me. You want to see the rest? The if rest? It please, your grace. That's your scepter, there. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you a present. Everyone. After I raise my armies and kill your traitor brother, I'm going to give you his head as well. Or maybe he'll give me yours. Look at you, Sansa! My mother tells me a king should never strike his lady. Samarin. There's something wrong because I never saw I don't trust this woman. Obviously. Drogo. Sheikh Mishrakiani. Why is he out here alone? He seems to like the warmth, Princess. He lives. You asked for life. You paid for life. This is not life. When will he be as he was? When the sun rises in the west, sets in the east. When the seas go dry, when the mountains blow in the wind. Like leaves. Never. Never will be. <gasps> she framed her. She framed her. She... It was all a trick. Leave us. Can you please kill that woman now? I don't want you alone with a sorceress. I have nothing more to fear from this woman. Go. Unbelievable. Burn her alive. <laughs> she lost her husband or son. You will not hear me scream! 
I will. But it's not your screams I want. Only your life. Oh, they fall asleep there? What the hell? I guess it was the ceremony, the funeral. Oh my gosh. That's the blood of my blood. That's why people sometimes complain saying you have to be patient with Daenerys' storyline because it's uh, it, it, it goes very slowly in the beginning because the brother is in the way, kind of. She's a little bit the shadow. And then once he's out, he, she just blossoms. And oh my god, it was amazing. I really, really, really loved it so much. I don't know. I can actually, I'm so excited. Like, I'm, I'm excited because... I don't know, it was it was so good with the the dragons, you know, the birth of the dragons. Oh my god, I loved it. Anyway, let's talk about the rest. <laughs> so I have to say this ending gives a victory on Daenerys' side, obviously, and then <laughs> there's a big problem with, uh, with the the other side of West, you know, the Western side and you know, uh, I feel things are going <laughs> really badly. But it's getting to a war. We're starting a war, and each party is trying to figure out what to do. And the alliance, the alliances, and um, 
and it's just sad. I think the loss of Ned Stark is like a pillar just went down, and now they're trying to kind of compensate, and it just it all the Stark are kind of kind of trying to reunite back again and fight, and that's why even Jon Snow was trying to leave. Um, because he's part of the family and he was very close to Ned Stark as well and actually he's the one that resembles him the most. He reminds me of him so much in terms of personality, the way he speaks, the way he thinks, such a man of honor and dignity. I love Jon Snow so much and I really hope that the following seasons uh, will give us something more for him. I will do a kind of a season one review um, podcast very shortly before starting season two. Um, but I'm going to tell you already that the character of Jon Snow and the character of Daenerys are kind of interesting because their, their storylines are the ones that are kind of sideways. So everything is concentrated on the Stark and Lannisters. Stark and Lannisters. They're the focus right now. And Jon Snow is not really considered a Stark. And then on the sidelines, we have the star, uh, I'm sorry, we have Jon Snow, and then we have Daenerys. And I find that very interesting. And also the visual aspect signals that Jon Snow is in the snow, it's the cold and all that. And then on the other side, Daenerys says she's in the warmth, the fire, and even visually the sun, the yellow tones kind of, I kind of reflect that. And then Westeros is more like, gray area it's more like in between and there's a little bit of sunlight there's a little bit of cold and and, and foggy kind of style i i find that very into i i look at that stuff i look at that stuff but uh, you know um uh i really appreciate the the intent and nothing is really done um in vain everything has a purpose in this show which is which is something so beautiful and it means they really took the time uh to build it and i love it so much i'm so excited for next season um i wanted to ask you if you guys would recommend uh some topics for podcast i'm trying to go back to podcast as much as possible because they're very hard to make for me in the sense of very time consuming but i'm really I'm really into them. Like, I really love doing those. Um, so, I definitely will do a review. Very short review. It's not going to be long. Very short review. But I was wondering if you guys want me to do a podcast uh, or a video analysis of an aspect of season one or focusing on a particular character just before getting to season two. And I can always go back. We can always talk about season one in relation to season two later on. But if you guys have any ideas... Please suggest it because I will gladly do some of those because I love them maybe over time. And I definitely cannot wait to start with season two. Uh, before that, there will be a review of season one, definitely. And then we'll start reaction season two. That's kind of the schedule, what we're going to do. Even because I cannot wait to watch season one, I, can, I cannot stop. I, we have to move on. Thank goodness. You know what's the beauty of watching shows that already ended? Is that you don't have to wait a year for next season, you just keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. And that's amazing. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point, make sure to, uh, to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.